Zah Habakkuk chapter uh, 1 verse 4 it says therefore the law is slack and judgment will never go forth for the wicked do compass about the righteous therefore wrong judgment proceeded that's right man so the wicked can pass about the righteous man so right now you have the wicked guess what they're in authority man judgment is slack because if the we they, they should have been put to death man and Judgment is slack, meaning it's not going by as soon as you do that wicked act. All right? You don't get put to death as soon as you do a, 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 a sin that's, that's, that's um, worthy, worthy unto death, unto capital punishment. All right? That's why you have homosexuals walking around. And the wicked have compassed the righteous because they're, they're sitting there and listening to all these wicked people, man. And they show them a whole bunch of... Um, Compassion. All right. They show them a whole bunch of compassion, uh, uh, love. But men of the Lord come out here and try to teach the word. They look down on us, man. You know? They look down on this word, man. But guess what? It's, it's coming a time where these words ain't even going to be here, man. For y'all. Let me correct myself. These words ain't going to be here for y'all. And that's when you're going to be wanting to hear these words. Week in and week out, man, this brother come out here and break this Bible down to you. All right? And until you see these tanks on every corner and, 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 and um, these Gurkha troops on every corner and you can't leave your house at a certain time, then you're going to believe. Then you're going to be like, you know what? Those dudes is prophets. As a matter of fact, you got a place like Illinois, man. Which, which Chicago is in Illinois. In Chicago, they call it Chirac. And those niggas is going crazy out there, killing up everybody. They had the, one of the most, uh, and, and every holiday, that's just the Lord doing that, man. Bringing judgment on them niggas, man. Because every holiday, so-called holiday, holiday, all right, you'll have, um, you'll, you'll have uh, 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 Chicago, it's, it's, it's more shootings in the whole than the whole damn country, you might as well say. You know? That's just the Lord's judgment, and guess what? They, uh, um, Chicago, I mean, Illinois as a whole state, is about to declare bankruptcy. They want to declare martial law and all that, man. And they said after that, New Jersey is next. You know? Then they, they, they named a couple states which I can't think of right off hand but if you look up if you go on YouTube you could probably find a video I believe it's called Illinois claiming bankruptcy you know and guess who they got the pictures of on the front holding guns like this you damn niggas man why because they know now what, what, once that place declares bankruptcy and all hell already breaking loose now out there, imagine the hell that's really gonna break loose out there, man. You gonna have people wanting to get out of there and can't even get out of there, man. So Revelation 1 and 3, it said, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of the prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. That's right, it says, Blessed is he that readeth. All right? The only thing you dudes want to read right now is uh, <laughs> cut sports highlights. Cut whatever. Yeah, cut gossip. Latest uh, gossip about cut. The, uh, people on love and hip hop. Duh. Cut. Like and then whatever they type in the YouTube, you know, they're more yo. And this society, people are so infatuated. With other people's lifestyles, man. Thinking that you gonna get that, man. That's like a smack in your face, man. You wanna watch Love and Hip Hop to see how somebody else living. They ain't thinking about how your ass living. You living in the goddamn ghetto. They ain't living out there in Beverly Hills somewhere. Yeah, some of, some of the people that be on the show, they not even balling like how they trying to trigger Exactly. It's a, it's a false... Uh, a false, a false image, man. 
Yeah, they probably, like, the money they paid them to do the show, they probably just wear on them fancy clothes. Cut, it, exactly. Cut. Matter of fact, and you know what? They give them people them clothes, man. As a, as a gift to, to promote their style. That's what they do. They give you a gift. And like I said, a gift is true of the heart. So you'll wear whatever they want you to wear, you know, because it, it might be the latest fashion. And guess what? Everybody see it. Oh, damn, so-and-so had that on. I got to go get it. Like when this nigga, Michael Obama, they call Michelle Obama, when she wore that, that nigga wore that dress. You know? All the, all the girls wanted to get it. Oh, Michelle Obama wear that dress for the inauguration. I got to get it. That's what they do. And you broke ass niggas, they ain't even pay for that shit. But you broke ass niggas to spend your whole check. Your electric might be about to get cut off. But you gotta get them shoes because Beyonce had them on. But she ain't even paid for them. All, the, all those things are, are, are an illusion, man. There's some of those people, even even that, even that their money that they have, that's an illusion to them. Because when they die, they don't take that with them. And a lot of them die broke. So you rather give up your, your, your dignity and, and integrity and your heritage to rub shoulders with a damn dog, with a heathen, man. With a base man, with somebody that's underneath you, man. And it's a joke to them because they laughing and joking. That's why they call you niggas monkeys, man. Because monkey see, monkey do. Whatever, whatever the latest rapper has on, guess what you niggas do? You want to go buy it for you and your kids. You're a bunch of robots. You're programmed. You need to be deprogrammed and reprogrammed to the, to the agenda of your how about shim you was shy, man. It's uh, Revelation 2 and 26. It's like it. I'm going to start at 25. It says, that which ye have already hold fast till I come. That's right. So that what we have, that's what we have, that we already have, we're supposed to hold fast until your Howard Bosch Shimmy Hour Shop comes, man. All right? Not running around trying to chase after a false hope, man. Because you people that live here in this country, you living in the matrix. And you have no idea the times that you're about to be facing. And you think it's not gonna happen in your lifetime. Well, guess what? You all gonna see some real agonizing times, man. Real horrible times to the point, you women, y'all gonna be eating all them shoes you buying just to fill your belly with something. You're gonna be drinking your own urine. Eating, you're gonna be eating them cigarettes for food. For some nourishment. That's the time that you're coming to. You know? And she looking like she don't believe it. And then she probably, she, you know, she'll probably be out here prostituting herself for cigarettes. When all hell break loose. Just give me a problem. You know? Like, uh, like remember Hurricane Sandy? I think it was when, uh, it was Hurricane Sandy. Like, remember they had the gas shortages and all that shit? I think. Like people was going on, it was a Craigslist and shit like that, saying they did like hey for gas. <laughs> See what I mean, like, yo? And that's yo, and that's the reality, man. <laughs> yo, and you know what? And that was just a low level catastrophe, man. This catastrophe that's coming, and and I'm a, I'm gonna put this out there. Cause they, I know they got plans for this shit, and I've been doing, I've been staying, trying to stay on top of this. But that whole Hoover Dam thing, man, they got plans to destroy that, man. Along with the Golden Gate Bridge, you know, that's that's their second 9/11 that they trying to plan, man. Or something to that effect. That's why in all the movies going all the way back to Superman, they got the Hoover Dam getting destroyed, Golden Gate Bridge crashing. It's so like Golden Gate Bridge crashing and all that, you know? So guess what, man? 
they, they, those, those are their plans and they know it's going to happen. And guess what? If you destroy the Hoover Dam, you know how that, that would wipe out damn near the whole West Coast, man. That's a lot of lives. That's going to be the biggest blood sacrifice on top of 9 11. It's going, to, it's going to outdo 9 11. You know? And when that happens, like the, the, the brother said, women was talking about going on Craigslist, talking about they're going to give head for gas. Guess what else they're going to be trying to do in that day? More than that. Especially these proud ass women that think that they doo doo don't stink. Where is somebody else's hair? In your goddamn hair. The average black woman is a bald head mother effer. That's why she has to go around and buy fucking weed. That's Indian hair. Straight from India. Why? Because your hair is not capable of growing. Why? Because the Lord, he did it to you. He said he's going to make a sore patch and you so-called nigga women's hair, man. Scab, slack. So what's the next thing you do? You got to go buy your own hair. What's up? Yeah, this up. This revelation on um, 2 and 26 it says, He that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. That's right. Read that one more time. We're going to end on that, man. It says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. That's right. He that uh, holds that step fast to the end, man. So that means you got to endure all these things, man. You got to endure this. The, the, the RFID microchip. You have to endure martial law. All right? You got to endure the Gurga troops coming, kicking in your door. You got to endure these women thinking that they over us. You got to endure all these false prophets, man. And if you do that, the Lord said he's going to give you dominion over all the nations of the world, man. So what that mean? You're going to be in rulership, man. You're going to be ruling. All right? So this thing is about faith and endurance, man. Just like if you was in a boxing match. You have to endure that round, every round. And we going round for round for round. Every round we come out here is every week. Not even just that, during the week. All right? So with that, Shalom.